All righty. I'm here with the moist man himself, Charlie. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. It's great to meet you. I've seen quite a few of your pieces of content, and I want to get right off the record on, on Fripp. Okay. I really don't think it's your fault what happened to that guy with the big breasts. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Tony Blevins? Yep. Yeah, yeah. For those that don't know, um, this man said he fondles big-breasted woman. Mm -hmm. uh, he got fired, VP of Apple. VP, right? Top he, dog? He did, like, a supply chain stuff. Okay. Yeah. God rest his soul. If you're watching this, Tony, you got done dirty, man. Yeah, we love you, Tony. But uh, yeah, Bloomberg and other people don't. So it's just it's trash. Tragic situation. I'm going to rip it off fast. I know you're a food connoisseur yourself. Mm -hmm. I want to know what the ultimate S tier fast food location is and the ultimate F tier for you. F tier is easy. It's Burger King. I think that shit needs to be shut down. It's like an actual <laughs> health violation. It, it's I don't know how it still exists, but it shouldn't. S tier is kind of tough. So just one, only one. Maybe Popeyes. Their chicken sandwich really? is outrageous. Have you had it? I, I have. I yeah. Have. So their chicken sandwich yeah. actually lives up to the hype, which never happens. And their fries are some of the best in the game. Like the up Cajun there. The Cajun ones. Yep. Up there with yes. like checkers. Yes. But they're. I don't know if you've had their tenders. Their tenders are like these sad little tiddly winks of chicken that that's like <laughs> overbreaded. It's fucking trash. But everything else is amazing. Okay, I've had the chicken. I mean, I heard the hype. There was like lines everywhere, and yeah. I actually tried it, and it is juicy mm -hmm. it's not it's like not dripping but it's uh, moist yeah no it's, it's moist it's got like a lot of character like that that chicken sandwich has personality like yeah, she yeah. she wants to be consumed and it is fucking amazing yeah i think they led the game they they walked so everyone else could run yeah. well they're still running i'd say would you make an only fans i did actually make an only fans so i wanted to do an experiment this was like two years ago now I wanted to see if it was easy, so I tried to make a secret OnlyFans, but for feet. So I didn't. Oh. Okay. I shaved to like the lower half of my like ankles and my my top of my feet, so they weren't hairy. I tried to do it up like a like a woman's foot. Oh wow. And I tried yeah. to make like an OnlyFans that popped off, so I'd put like a little dildo in between my feet and like no. rub it and shit. How much you charge? I, it was free. I just wanted to get like, <laughs> followers right away, and I ended up with zero. So, and no one knew because you didn't promote it. Yeah, so I wanted to go from scratch to see if you could build an empire, okay. but I couldn't. I tried promoting on Twitter, but I heard Reddit's pretty good for it. So oh, if I was yeah. to do it again, I'd probably focus on Redditors. Are you a Reddit? I'm a Reddit fiend. Are you? A I go on Reddit to like get up to date shit, but I don't like Karma Farm or anything. Oh, I, don't, I don't even give out up dudes either. Oh no, dudes. Nope. Really? A, so you're a lurker. I've, I'm a lurker. I've never given okay. a single up dude to anything in my life. No way. Mm -hmm. Do you sign in? Like, do you have an account you sign into? I do. Just so that way I don't see like the default stuff because those are trash uh, but is it top secret like your complete no. looker oh you okay no, so it's it, public yeah that's the ch the reddit accounts there but i don't like partake in much okay i think redditors are i mean it's kind of like a cringe it's like kind of like to me like rick and morty like i love the show but i don't i'm not like what up y'all i'm a rick and morty big fiend yeah it's something you keep to yourself yeah yeah because the the culture on reddit is you know those people yeah. yeah it's not a connotation you want to be called no. a redditor is no. insulting cringe but but also i love it it's my favorite platform to go on i just keep it keep it low key mm -hmm. yeah oh yeah <laughs> okay all right i want to know if you get any like weird fan mail like do you have like a p.o box people send you weird stuff and if so what is the weirdest item you've received in the mail from anyone yeah we do have a p.o box I, we don't do a whole lot with it anymore but when we first opened it someone sent us a bag of their shit which was fucking hype it, what it was the first thing we ever opened so matt really yeah we we didn't know what to expect so we gave matt a hazmat suit which turned out to be huge because we got i don't know <laughs> if it was human shit it might have been their dog's shit but they bagged up some shit and sent it to us so matt opened it up and it was a beautiful surprise for the whole family to enjoy did you know it was coming no of course not you just opened it up and it was was it like a thick shit like a like so a it was diarrhea? like a squish shit so it clearly <laughs> it clearly sat for a while it heated up and then started to like uh, kind of emulsify to a degree oh, wow. it was fucking gnarly i'm surprised that they were able to ship that like was it like just a u.s mail yep just a, like a bubble packet like a bubble packer oh wow what, what do you do with it oh we threw it away oh, okay yeah we didn't like, keep you it. didn't keep it as like a shrine no i mean <laughs> i guess we could have put it on like the trophy wall or something it's yeah. just like a little cool memory but in we, like a case yeah I, i'd probably do the same honestly. like epoxy it would have been cool maybe yeah that is that's a big winner i didn't expect something like that so that is the best answer i could have ever heard yeah no it was pretty cool we didn't get too much else that was wacky there we got anime girl p once which was probably just normal p said <laughs> was from an anime girl well yeah you have to have the anime p connotation there because it could be a little different yeah yeah, yeah. that's that's pretty wild that wins that wins. so they treat the p.o box like their fucking toilet really man, honestly <laughs> well yeah that's that's ridiculous <laughs> yeah. i can't imagine like what sane person like do you ever find out who did it 
well, I mean, their name's on it, but I'm not going to, like, track it to them be like, how dare you? You dox them like you're the <laughs> yeah. pooper. Have you ever done anything, like, weird for money? Like, what is the weirdest thing you've ever done for an amount of money? Any amount of money? Um, nothing weird. I guess this isn't weird, but, like, the first thing I ever did for money was mow lawns. Like, that was, like, a humble upbringing oh, kind yes. of thing, and that didn't last super long. I've never done anything, like, weird, though. I get scammed out of money in weird ways, like traveling carnivals when I was in college. <laughs> one of the traveling carnivals came through in a parking lot outside of a nightclub, and I went to it. And this fucking guy <laughs> conned me out of like 180 bucks, which was my whole wallet in college. I was so mad. How'd he con you? Did you do like a little game? With yeah, the... so the game was you bounce a ball <laughs> off of one of those slanted backboards into a basket. And he oh. could do it every time. He's like, yeah, it just takes a little finesse. You got to have that oh, yeah. magic touch. So I bought into it. I was like, that seems easy. So I did it, and it didn't work. And he's like, I had do it again did it still didn't work he's like all right you know what i'll let you do two more for double the price or something and oh, he just kept doubling double it. or nothing yeah. yeah and then like as long as you hit it i'll give you your money back but it turns out it's an unwinnable game and it's a well-known con because where you stand is impossible to do that where oh. he stands you can do it every time oh wow he it's tricked up. you he yeah. finessed finagled no that yeah. guy was that was Damn loki that guy was an asshole man now was in call you went to university of tampa yep. right what do you study I did. So I started with digital arts because I wanted to be like an animator. I wanted to work on cartoons, but oh, cool. I'm just not artistically gifted. So I switched to exercise physiology. So quite human the, science. Quite the difference there. Yep. The bachelor's in human science. And you graduated. Yep. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, there we I, go. I don't use it, though. So I'm not very knowledgeable anymore. I mean, you know, I feel like I'm trying to think of where that would come into play in it some doesn't. of your videos. You're like planning some kind of stunt or something like that. No. Or exercise. Yeah, I don't think so. It doesn't come into play at all. I don't use my major either. Finan major? Finance. Oh. Yeah, finan I'm one of those uh, douche bros. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. So I know you're dating someone, mm -hmm. um, but do girls still ever try to slide into your DMs? I don't check DMs, man. I really don't. So I have no idea. I get like weird DMs from like some friends sometimes, like, uh, like, <laughs> like Ludwig dropping an ass pick or something. Oh, but it's okay. not like anything i ever see because i don't really check anywhere okay do you i feel like your audience um is mostly men i assume oh no you couldn't be more wrong it's what like, yeah it's like it's like it's like 50 50 i'd say is it actually no uh, <laughs> i was like what <laughs> no it's like six percent women oh like, okay i was say you're rolling in it yeah it's, you, no it's definitely it, which is weird because we have like a giant like motorized dildo like yeah. on wheels. I don't know why women would want, want that. that. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I, to I them. feel like you'd be getting like panties in the mail. Oh, I, that, that's what you would expect, right? But yeah. you just get shit and pee. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's like my audience with car people. I'm like, oh well, I guess I get the automotive. Not not a lot of women in that in that sphere. Not yet. Not yet. We'll you're, get them in there. Yeah, you're gonna innovate. I think once you hop on the Moby Huge Mobile, you're gonna see like a 10 percent increase in the female demographic. They, I mean, it's a big dick. Mm -hmm. Girls like dick, right? Right, guys. I think. How did you get into the YouTube game? Tell me about your first video, and then like the rise up there. No one ever expects this. I started on YouTube in like 2006 before this channel. I used to reupload. Yep, I used to reupload oh. softcore porn from a place called That Video Site. So I used to reupload really? softcore eventually <laughs> moved on from that to the current channel where i started with like unsigned rappers music so i used to upload like soldier boy before he got signed because he used oh. to post on an obscure forum site wow and can you I, monetize that back no. then you couldn't do shit with no there was right? so there was no monetization back then for like a creator that wasn't until yeah. like fuck like ray william johnson blew that up in like 29 or 2009 and 2010 oh shit and Sm wasn't smosh kind of like leading the charge yep, smosh there? was popping off back in yeah. those days they were like one of the most subbed at like 50k they were, they were cracked out yeah back then it was like oh you have a you have a million subs like fred oh like, it was like unheard channel? of yeah. unheard of god tier yeah i started after after the unsigned rappers music i started with gears of war montages and started just making original content from there okay yep. wow that's quite the uh transition then you just kept producing content and like were you getting any views back then no so back then oh. in those days there were little pockets and kind of like how it is now but you didn't interact so the gears of war community was pretty small and really tight knit so like the most views i'd ever get on a video was like 40 or 50 sometimes oh, wow. 100 if it really popped and that was a big day yeah like, it was 100 a big 100 day. you were like fuck yeah i remember in my eighth grade field trip i mo i posted my fifth sniper montage and i was i came home and it had like 300 views like oh my fucking god Mom, I'm going. I'm going in the big time. Oh now. wow! I'm, I'm quitting my job. 
<laughs> yeah, and I used to like peruse the category like anyone talking about me in the Gears community, but usually no. Uh, did your mom? What was your mom thinking about all this? Like, my parents were always super supportive. Like, they thought it was the coolest thing in the world. Okay, because you said your dad built this. I wish we had it right here. But the the Dick Mobile, mobi yeah. mobile Dick. My dad built the Cockmobile. Cock Him mobile. and his friends <laughs> set it up in their garage because he. In order to get through that, it's like fucking five inches worth of like hardened silicone. So to get through Jeez. that, they had to use like industrial cutting equipment and shit. So he had to use like a real factory of his friends there. Do you think anyone's ever tried to like actually like fuck that dildo? No, it's impossible. There's someone <laughs> that tried on something a little smaller. So there's a video right now where a lot of people get it misconstrued. A girl puts it in her ass, but it's not that. It's like the same height, oh. but not the same girth. How, and how tall is this girl? Like, I don't know. I don't remember. Did how she tall get it? Was. Like, kind of. You know. She didn't get very far, but yeah, actually, yeah. it was like a valiant attempt. That would kill you, I think. Yeah. 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 You would die. That is wild. Um, okay. Well, uh, well, I think everyone's also wondering. Do you know Pyrocynical? Are you guys boys? Do you guys kick it? Do you talk? We've talked occasionally. I wouldn't say that we're like close friends or anything, but we we do talk. He was on our podcast a couple of years ago. And okay. We haven't kept in touch a lot, but we've talked occasionally. Okay. I feel like there's definitely some crossover there as yeah, far as like fan guy. bases and whatnot. Yeah, okay. No, there's no like rivalry or anything like that. <laughs> not, th not that I know of. I mean, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, he was telling me otherwise, but uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Do you have any like favorite movies or TV shows? Like top three best favorite movies? Yep. Top TV shows. Oh, that's easy. So top three favorite movies. Well, I don't know about top three, but top two, The Mummy is my favorite, and my second favorite's The Mummy Returns. Okay, Can't classic. beat the classics. No, you can't. Brendan Fraser goes yeah. so hard. Godspeed if you're watching this, Brendan. Can't wait for The Whale. Yeah. That's his new movie. <laughs> those movies are so fucking good. And then top three shows are going to be Breaking Bad, Courage the Cowardly Dog. Oh, and yeah. I don't know what my third would be, but those two are fucking Breaking Bad for me. Yeah, I'm so saying. Good. Have you seen Looney Tunes back in action with Brendan Fraser? <laughs> yeah. <'Cause, laughs> yes. That's that's one of the best of all time. I, anything with Brendan in it is good. Yeah, At yeah. Bare minimum, it's good. I would agree. He's a god. He's a god. Although he's been, uh, didn't wasn't he done dirty recently? Like, yeah. His his wife is a real battle axe. She bled him dry for years in alimony, like 950k a year in oh, alimony. No. And he's like, isn't he like dying or something right now? I, he has I like an illness. Not. What the fuck? No. I think he's like, I don't know. I think something, I read something awful. Like he's like going through some like depressive what episode. No, I didn't hear any of He's that. not doing well right now as I think. And I'm like kind of in this pop culture sphere, but I think, I think Brendan is having trouble right now. Big trouble. Well, I hope not. I know he had, so he had injuries from the mummy where he like broke his back. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. He's having problems with that. Like because of all the stunts he's done. Okay. So it's he like has, a stunt injury related. There's some like long-term problem with his body right now that he's like suffering right now. So this sort of go like, fund me. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like an ASPCA commercial for Brendan here. Yeah. Everyone donate and call the number to you. Like what is peak entertainment? Like what is your ideal peak entertainment day? Shitty horror movies are so fun. Well, not even horror movies, but like shitty movies or shitty games. I just find so much fun in it, especially when it's shared. So like streaming shitty games is always fun, like with yeah. chat joking about it or watching shitty movies with friends. It's just like a really extremely enjoyable experience because you have so many things to like laugh about and yeah. get like into. Have you seen Moonfall? No. Okay. So oh, Moon is that new? Yep. Moonfall yeah. came out Heard this year. Right. It is objectively probably one of the worst big budget movies ever made wow it's about the moon falls out of orbit and it's about to crash into earth but that's only oh. the tip of the iceberg it, it gets fucking insane the thing about moonfall is so much happens that i don't want to spoil so i <laughs> recommended it to friends like the guy you saw come in just a minute ago yeah i recommended it to him and other friends they watched it and they spoke for three hours about it just debriefing oh wow and it's i that bad i had the same thing i watched it and i went <laughs> home and was like compelled by a demon to just talk about moonfall so i made a whole rant about it <laughs> it is a movie that transcends the like entertainment wow. it is so bad in every area it's almost incalculable how you could make something this bad it's wow. just so fun. It's so fun. Big, and it has a big budget. Like it, was it was like in a, theaters. It was like a hundred twenty million dollar movie. No. And it made like fifty bucks. Like it's terrible. It flopped. It was. Wow. It, it's made by the guy who made Day After Tomorrow in twenty twelve. If you saw those. Oh yeah. With Roland yeah. Emmerich. So this is his latest disaster film. Wow. And it is so fucking bad. He. He did try and set up like a cinematic universe too, so we could see a whole fucking trilogy of movie wow. Maybe it's so bad that obviously people will go back and like it'll be kind of a cult classic, kind of like I hope The Room. So. Yeah. I've been preaching the good word, man. It's like my Scientology, like letting people know that you need to see Moonfall. It's wow. so fucking good. Okay, go watch it, everyone. I'm gonna watch it. I, I need to. Is it still in theaters? No, 
No, it was January this year. It's on uh, Amazon Prime now, though. Okay. And I assume you've seen The Room, yep. right? Yeah. Yep. I so mean, that's... It's yeah. like The Room with a higher budget. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Because The Room is really... I mean, it's a great story. It's a great story. But it is a great story. Yeah, he really was trying. He really was trying his best. Yeah. What's the worst you've ever seen? Number one. Like, worst not... movie ever, but, like, they didn't try to make it bad. A lot of them are, like... It's, like, a whole genre where they'll try to make a movie bad because it's, like, kind of part of the genre. Yeah. I'm talking, like... They went out there, they tried to make a great movie, and it was the worst movie of all time. That'd be Moonfall, but like that's, so. a, that's like a wow. fun, okay. bad movie. If you're talking just like, I hated it. It's so shit. It's like, called Let's Be Evil. It's, <laughs> okay. It's a horror movie on Netflix. I saw it in 2016. It's about these kids that live underground, and they needed three babysitters, but then they torture the babysitters. But... Th- Oh, but it's fucking awful. Oh, k- think, does it start out with a kid getting like thrown down the stairs, or someone kills someone downstairs? No, 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 no. Okay, I'm not. thinking of a completely different. Literally, thing. nothing happens in that movie till the very end, and it's so bad. It's what I I actually think it's probably like the worst piece of shit like humans have ever made. Wow, it's terrible. I gotta watch it. It was 2016. It was it's, yeah, 2016's Let's Be Evil. It's on Netflix right now. It was on Netflix. Ah, they shit. probably got rid of it by now. I'll have to get like a DVD. I yeah. Yeah, you're probably gonna have to torrent it. I don't think they could afford DVDs. The oh. budget's like a hundred bucks. It is awful. Okay. Wow. It is absolutely awful. So if you go in public, like you're out on the town in Tampa, get a little wacky on the streets. Mm. Are people walking up to you at all, like at any given point? Can you like live a normal life in public right now? Oh, absolutely. The internet, internet success doesn't translate like one to one with real world success. Like sometimes people come up and say hi and it's, they're always super nice, but it's usually wherever I'm at. Like if I'm at, I don't go to bars much anymore, but like it would happen at bars and such. So like anywhere where it's more of like a social crowd, a couple people might recognize, but it's not like I, I go to the grocery store and all of a sudden there's like paparazzi, fucking paparazzi or anything. No. Cause I feel like your fan base wouldn't be like, Oh my God. Like, like as if you were like a TikTok girl no. or something, you know? Mm-hmm. Pretty much everyone that's ever, like, said anything in public is, like, my age or older or okay. maybe a little younger. So it's always, like, early 20s, early 30s, so wherever that is in public. Okay. So you wouldn't have, like, the, yeah, the 13. I can't imagine being, like, one of these TikToker guys that has, like, their 13-year-old, 14-year-old fans, like, running up to them. No, that sounds like an actual fucking nightmare. It's a liability. It's, it's awful. It's yes. like a moving Chuck E. Cheese if you're, like, a TikTok star. It shit is awful. Yeah, I saw a video of Bryce Hall, if you know who that is. Yeah. And he's, like, he's at some, I don't know what he was, like, a high school. I think he, like, visited his old high school or middle school or something like that. And he has, like, 40, like, 12-year-old girls, like, up on him, like, Bryce, I love you. Kiss me. Oh, I was God. like, dude, that is, a, that is a nightmare. That's that's creepy. Like yeah. more than anything, it's just creepy. It's weird on all fronts. Yeah. yeah. So I'm glad that doesn't happen. I, it's no. true. Like being like an A-list like Hollywood star versus it's like so different. A-list yeah. YouTuber is like a completely different world. I feel like. Yeah. It, it's like there's definitely a lot more crossover now with the internet and like real world success and all that. Yeah. But yeah. it's not to that level. It's not like a sports star. Like still like a bench warmer for like the fucking Houston Rockets is yeah. going to be more recognizable than. The biggest YouTuber. Yeah, they're walking in there. It's like, right over here, sir. Yeah. Um, are you a party animal? I used to be. Back in college, I used to be a fucking... You were a menace. Wild. Yeah, I was a fiend. Wow. Yep. Were I you used... boozing, like, doing beer funnels, yep. keg stands? Beer funnels, keg stands. I was always big into, like, shots, so I'd be ripping fireball. This was before it got oh. recalled for the antifreeze, too, so I was on the OG oh. formula. I wow. was big into the scene. I love wow. fireball. Yeah. So back in the day... Because how much older are you? How old are you? So I'm 28, 28 now. Right? So this was back when I was like in my 19 to 23 okay. ballpark is when I really fucking popped in that area. I love fi- I drink I drink Fireball back in like high school. So I guess I was drinking the, the antifreeze yep. Fireball too. And it, it was it, better. It was better. It had a- actual antifreeze in it. It was. So it didn't have actual antifreeze. I think what happened, and I'm going off memory. This could be like an Alex Jones moment for I've me I've heard though. this too though. Like I've, I've yeah, heard this. It yeah. could have just been a rumor, but it got recalled. That was real. And then I heard it was because some of the ingredients in there ended up like creating antifreeze or oh. something. Uh-huh. Like like as they mixed in your tummy, it like be antifreeze okay. or some crazy shit. <laughs> I don't really remember now, but it was it was weird. It was weird. Yeah, it's like old four loco, kind of just oh, like oh the OG yeah. four locos. Yeah, that was giving people heart attacks. It had like yep. real caffeine in it. I think you can't like legally mix caffeine and alcohol in like a preset drink. It was yeah, or if it was just the amount of caffeine. It was like three hundred like it was like three hundred milligrams of caffeine. Yeah, yeah, that is true. You know, I brought. In, with me in my suitcase to Tampa, uh, fireball shooter. So I think I'm like, <laughs> like, it was it was in there from an old trip, and I was like, 
Yeah, we'll just leave that in there. I'll, I'll probably drink it. So nice, I'm good. still on the fireball train. People hate it. In high school, they're like, I'll drink the fireball. They have a bad time. And they're like, I can't, can't even smell it. Mm. And then people love it. It's two people. No one's like, fireball's okay. Yeah, it, it's two camps. Like, you either have to love it or you have to hate it. And yeah. I feel like the people that love it are always the more fun people, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Fireball is just a good time. It's one of yeah. those, like, tasty... Very effective at getting you fucked up quick kind of yeah. shots. It's a candy. It's like Yeah, candy. it's a little candy. I'm a supporter, but I think people hate it as well. So, yeah. So, Party Animal back in the day. Now you're toned like, yeah, toned down. I, I'm three years sober now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I'm like, yeah, you want that fireball? No, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> There's no reason I'm three years sober. I, it's just I say it that way because it gets such a positive response. Like, people are like, wow, congratulations uh, yeah. for being sober. I'm like, oh, I must, I got to move on from the, the yeah, conversation here. Like, what happened? The strength to be sober is, is so inspiring. <laughs> I don't, the only reason I stopped is just because, I don't know, it's, just, it's a lot of money and I don't really go out as much anymore. So I don't really drink much anymore okay. in general. Is it, is it the same response that people say when, say like you're in college and someone goes, oh yeah, I actually go to community college. And people go, oh, that's that's really good. Is it kind of the same thing where you're just like, it just is what it is. I don't know. People just respond so positively to it. Because if you say sober, it's different than like, yeah, I just don't feel like drinking. They're like, oh, this this guy's got like his shit together. Like this yeah. guy may have had a problem and he overcame his demons and now yes. look at him. So it's like, congratulations. Yeah, I like shake your hand. I'm like, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay, okay. So that's well, a little pro tip. If anyone out there like doesn't want to drink on like a certain day or whatever, you can just be like, no, I'm like, I'm a sober. And so people, people just like leave that shit alone. They'll be like, oh, okay. Yeah. Right. We, won't, we won't bring it up oh, anymore. Yeah, we won't touch on that anymore. <laughs> okay. Do you have any um, music artists that you love? Like top three favorite albums oh, yeah. and or artists? So my favorite album, which I don't think will ever be topped, is Hybrid Theory from Linkin Park. I grew up on oh, wow. that shit. Yep, that's the soundtrack to my whole upbringing. Okay, yeah. wow. That, okay, that's very specific, and that's top dog for you. Yeah, that album, I, I mean, you, obviously there's going to be objectively better music, but the nostalgia and like the influence that had on me, like it'll never be beaten. That's and, very fair. And it's still good. No. Like I still listen to the songs. They're still boner jams. They still go hard. <laughs> boner jams. Yep. Do you, are you popping a boner if, it, if like someone were to play it in like a club? Oh, I go. I get wacky if I hear uh -huh. Lincoln Park in public. I just feel so happy. I get a smile on my face. I'm wiggling my fingers. <laughs> I get very excited. That's amazing. Any other top dogs? Yep. So I would say like another one is Deftones. If you've ever listened to Deftones. them, They're, I've heard of them. Yeah. yeah. I can't say I'm like an expert on their. Yeah, no, Deftones yeah. also for pretty much the same reason, but they're still around making like hits. So Deftones and Lincoln Park are like my top two. Okay. I don't know who my third place would go to. I'd have to give that some more thought. But they don't those, deserve to be up with the others. Yeah, no, they, they'd be like third place, but like a deep third place. Okay. Because Lincoln Park and Deftones just go too hard. It's not even close. Okay. Well, let's talk platforms. Um, like as far as YouTube versus TikTok and all that, I know everything's like going short form and you clearly do like long form video. What do you see like the future in the next like two years of like platforms being like and also like which ones are your favorite to post on versus least and why? So the platforms to post on like I don't have a preference. I just like making shit. So wherever I post it, it's always going to be the same to me. It's just okay. like the fun of making it. Most platforms are going short form. So I would guess probably like five years from now, YouTube shorts is going to be like a big thing that they're going to continue pumping because yeah. They're already doing that. Yeah. And I feel like they're going to continue to just amplify that. They dominate it. And they're starting yep. a fund too in yep. February. Now they've got a new fund. They're now allowing AdSense on their shorts, which is pretty huge. So they're doing yeah. an ad split on the shorts. Um, Instagram completely tanked itself and ate shit going full hard <laughs> and like competing with TikTok with the reels and shit. Yeah. They're too late. Yeah. They came too late to the game and it's too shitty. They don't also, they don't pay like... For, for me, for example, they don't give you a bonus fund for posting short form videos if you have over a million followers, which just completely makes any like large creator on the platform be like, okay, why would I post here first? Like, yeah. I'll post Instagram last. And that's what's fucking them versus like Google, what you're saying. Like they're just like gonna eat TikTok's lunch if they keep it up with the- True, like TikTok's got like a foothold though on being able to just do anything with music and like yeah. start all of that. YouTube is still just figuring that out. So yeah. like on TikTok, like you, you don't really make money through like the creator fund on TikTok. It's all the brand deals. Those are like 60K per like 30 seconds. Like yes. that shit is crazy. You're nailing those numbers. And, and yeah. YouTube exactly. is like YouTube shorts just isn't there yet. So TikTok still has like that head start. But yeah. I feel like five years from now, it's going to be like TikTok and YouTube head to head with shorts. Yeah. What about Facebook? Do you use that oh, at no. all? Facebook's yeah. <laughs> so fucking dead. It's Face old. I just, I think Facebook is on its way out. Like they, Meta, the parent company lost 700 billion over the last year because of the metaverse eating so much ass. Yeah. And yeah. I feel like Facebook, no one wants a Facebook anymore because 
kids don't want to be there because their parents are there. Yeah. Why would a kid want to go on Facebook when their parents are seeing their posts? And most people are leaving Facebook anyway because it's just shitty. It's like a, it's old. It's just old school. It's a bad interface. It's just not good for anything really. They're not like I will. I will say one thing about Facebook. They do have funds that are much higher than any other platform right now. But because like you can max out at like thirty eight k a month if you like get a certain amount of views. But that's because they're really trying to like bring people in because it's like everyone's leaving it. So yeah. I think they're spending all their money, but I agree. It's like, it's not the cool platform to be on. It's, yeah. it's not at all. Yeah. No, definitely not. But they do pay the most to keep people there. And I think it's because of like desperation to hold on to some kind of market share there. Yeah, I wonder, and I don't think it's gonna pay out. I, think, I do think YouTube will be the top dog. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know, we'll see. TikTok though, you're right. Like I've made like no money personally from like the creator fund. It's, no. it's abysmal. I make like 1500 a month or something like that. And I get like, like so many views it's just the creator funds is, it's just it's a good idea but the money's not there for everyone in the program so yeah. the, taking brand deals is really what makes tiktok profitable are you are you taking like when you do brand deals are you doing them on tiktok or is it just mostly oh, long no. form tiktok YouTube. that's just like something we have just to have for fun yeah. yeah any like brand deals are usually just like on youtube videos to help for like a bigger production payment or something like that okay do you do like do you have one like set up for each video in advance no, no okay so it's more not. just kind of like because you're getting like obviously long form monetization views like just through adsense right so you, you primarily like rely on that and then partnerships if they just kind of pop up or just kind of like a bonus. Yep, and those help with like the bigger stuff we do. So like a music video or like, okay. a, like a moist esports thing, something like that. It all helps to kind of like funnel into there and keep those things like self-sufficient. Okay, you're not like plugging like, you know, like stuff like at the beginning of every video, what's up guys? Nope, no, no, uh, definitely cringe. fucking that. Uh, yeah, that is, that is cringe. So I, that's why it's good with AdSense, I feel like, cause you can kind of like do your own thing. It's like clutch, but some people are really shameless with it, so. Yeah. And, yeah. and I don't blame them for it either because it's it's a cutthroat place to be. So it makes yeah. sense to like constantly be like plugging it and trying to get some returns on it. It's just like I think like where I draw the line is like the the the, the mer like, you know, the OG like YouTube, not OG, but like 2013, like Vine era YouTube days where people were just like, buy my merch, buy my merch. And they yeah. it's like, in you know, they're dropping it in songs and stuff like that. I think that's where it's. Uh, yeah. Yeah. How many speed run records do you hold? Zero right now, but I've oh, wow. held quite a few. So a lot of the games I speed run are awful. Like okay. they are atrocious, actual like hate crimes. Oh. Like they are very bad, very, very bad games. But I'll speed run them for the sake of a record. So I'll okay. hold it for like a day. And then someone's like, yeah, fuck that guy. I'm going to go beat that record. Because the game's like a dollar. Oh, so you'll go on like games that no one really knows about? Yeah, and I'll just get a record that no one's ever heard of, oh, okay. no one's ever played, just for the sake of being a world record holder. And then yeah. someone's like, I'll pay a dollar just to beat it. And oh, beat wow. It. Are you like a wizard of gaming, like as far as like natural skill? No, I suck ass. I am bad at like every game. I'm, uh -huh. like, I'm like middle of the pack at every game. Okay, so you're not like a prodigy of gaming. It's just no, like... the only genre I actually pop off at is like Dark Souls games. So okay. whole Soulsborne genre, I'm really good at. Everything else, I'm pretty turbo oh, ass yeah this guy holding the camera like you need a little switcheroo yeah he how many times have you beaten uh uh dark souls uh three <laughs> isn't that insane though i think i have like i think i have like a thousand i have like 1900 hours in ds3 and I good just, shit and i did wild. speed runs on it and i think i got a, like a my max speed was like a 128 and so that's um, pretty good that i think the world record though is like a 111 47 or something like that but to even be in striking distance for dark souls 3 is tough it's like insane yeah, as no, it's, far as... Yeah, like, it's so. a hard game, yeah. but it's so fun. It's my favorite series, pretty much. I love the Souls series. What, like, what percentage of your of your adult life have you spent gaming? Oh, shit. That's a lot. <laughs> a lot. Like, like as far as, like, of your waking hours, uh, 18 years and older, what percentage, if you had to come up with a number? Shit. Uh, uh, while you're awake. I'd probably say, like... Safely would be like a sixty-five percent. Like Whoa! That, wow. Yeah, I'd, I'd say like, because I stream like every day, so yeah, yeah. That's like five, six hours a day. Wow. And I'm usually awake for what, like sixteen hours a day ish, maybe somewhere in there. So wow. like, that's a, that's a large chunk over time. And if it's not act, it's if it's not gaming, then it's something adjacent, like watching esports or something. Okay. So wow. It's, it's a lot. Are you um, a night owl? Like, do you stay up super late? Yep, I'm usually going to bed at like 3 a.m. That's okay. usually like bedtime. Same, same. And then once it starts to get around like 4, I'm like, or 3 after that, I'm like, ah, uh, because then what time do you wake up at? Like 11? Like 11, yeah. yeah. 
People get mad. People are like, oh, so lazy. I'm like, I'm sleeping the same amount of time as you. Yeah, I'm getting like just, six to seven hours. It's just spaced out differently. Yeah. For some reason, like these old, you know, boomers and whatnot are like, you got to get up early. And I'm like, why? Like, I just work more at night yeah. productively. It's, it, I think it's better to do things at night. It's less, like, it's less crowded. No it's, one's bothering yep, you. It's less intrusion. No, like, outside influences going on. It's just, it's efficient. So what what is the scariest game you've ever played? So... I don't really find games to be scary or movies for that matter. I, I don't know what it is. It's just I when I was a kid, I used to be a lot more scared of it. Now I just haven't for like the longest time. But I think the best horror game I've ever played is probably going to be like Outlast or something. I think those okay. are just like the best design. And then that whole horror medium just lends itself so well for the worst shit ever because everyone <laughs> thinks they can do it. So you oh, get like an okay. 18 year old fresh out of high school. He's like, I'll download Unity and make a horror game. So he just gets like these free packs and he just like dumps shit in there and then records himself screaming as a jump scare. Oh, no. And it's just so sad. That could be even more scary, though. No, yeah. it's, I just it's feel bad. It's sad scary. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's an actual <laughs> so sad cringe moment. It sucks. Like So bad it's scary. Yeah. I feel like <laughs> when I'm insulting those games, I feel bad, but it's like you charged me for it. Like you had the chutzpah to charge me money <laughs> to play your experimental student production on steam. Like it's shit. What is the worst game you've ever played? It's called super fight. It was a one level game and it cost $200. What? $200 on steam. It's called super fight. It was a no single way. level and it was a free asset pack that he made it with. Oh my gosh! It took me three minutes to beat the whole game. And why did? What was that like price there for? Like, did he just? Because he's, he's a he's a fucking maniac. He's a fiend. I bet you a bunch of people have. Did you like stream that? That yeah. So when I saw it, I, I was streaming when I saw it. And I was like, I'm gonna be the only one that ever buys this. So, so I did it oh just to be gosh. the first one to ever buy and beat that game. And I bet you a bunch of people have played. Have, do you think other people have bought that game? No. You don't no. think one person? Maybe one or two people, but not a meaningful amount. Plus, you, since it's a three minute game, you get a refund. And I think oh. he has to cover the refund. So every time he made a sale, he had to cover the refund on the sale as well. What a sick guy. So he just put, made it that price to be like kind of funny. I, I, I don't know. I've never seen anything else from him. <laughs> and he just made that and quit. But I guess when you strike gold like that perfection, why go back for more? How do you find these games? Like, where, are you doing like just searching through? No, just Steam? Steam. Like, if you just go to Steam and hit new releases, it's nothing um, but terrible fucking games. Like, wow. top to bottom. That is good content. To just kind of go in there and just Yeah, film. just see terrible things. The worst stuff ever. Yep. It's like wow. a look into the human psyche of just like deranged individuals that think they made something good. Wow. Which sounds mean to say, but no, like, don't no. charge me 15 bucks for it. It's not. It's not. It. Yeah. Um, so how, like, I know you don't like cockroaches, right? Yeah. So how much, like, how much would I have to pay you to like be in like a bathtub of like a hundred cockroaches, like crawling around you for like two minutes? Like, and you, give me like a number, like everyone's got a number, you know, like the minimum amount. If I paid you like $2 million cash right now, Two minutes in the bathtub with cockroaches. I feel like I, I feel like I could easily do that. Honestly, like I, I'm afraid of them. I don't like them, but I did hold one recently. Oh wow! So like I have that kind of connection with it now. No. I feel like I'd be totally fine just like hopping in the crucible and just letting it ride. Like you wouldn't wow. even need to pay me if you said like this content's gonna <laughs> pop off. I'd be like, all right, bet I'll, fuck, be I'll a, fucking hop in. I think you'd like come out a different man, but like better. Yeah, I feel like I'd be like, improved. Like I'd reach <laughs> my final form. Yeah, yeah. Trial through fire. Yeah. I think it, I, I want to do more like that, like like my phobias. Yeah. Because holding that cockroach, I felt transcendent for a moment. You know, like Doctor Manhattan wow. floating around with, like his blue dick out and shit. I was yeah. like, wow, I am reaching that level right now. It's like a drug. This. Yeah, it, it is. It really is. You should do it. I think you should do a video. Well, let's not get. I'm not gonna hop in a bathtub with cockroaches. I'm like, we'll I brought start. some actually right here with me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, and you don't like flying either, right? Yeah, no, I don't. I hate flying. Well, is it like a fear of heights, or is it just like you, the inconvenience? Like, what specifically do you hate about it? It's more just like a fear of death. Like, if okay. something goes wrong, it's just like super death. You're help. You're super helpless. Like, yeah, it, you're just you are... hopeless up there if something goes wrong. Yeah. Okay. So, do you try not to fly at all, if possible? Yeah. So I flew for the first time in August, and that was the first time ever. It, no, no, for the first time in six years in August. Oh my gosh! So I went six years for not flying. Then we flew in August, and probably won't fly again for another six years. Okay, because we were talking originally about this, and I was like, oh, if you're ever in LA, and it was like, oh, he's, you're not gonna be in LA. <laughs> also, you hate LA. So LA sucks. I, I do not like LA. So, so you would really have to have some incentive to go fly to LA. Yeah, I would have to be like, I'd have to be out. I'd have to be like actual lights out. <laughs> 
<laughs> pop you a Xanax and you just wake up there and you're like, oh my gosh, how'd yeah, I get here? Just actual time travel kind of shit. Oh my gosh, okay. Will you be going back to Mr. Krabs on ketamine? Nah, I'm, I'm retiring there. I'm hanging up the spatula. That that, <laughs> that record's not getting <laughs> beaten. Spatula. It's it's fucking done. I think the record right now is four seconds or five seconds or something wow. crazy. It's not happening. Can't for be me. beaten. Uh-uh. But you were the the king at one point. I innovated that tech. So the the route they use, I used and held the record for like two weeks. And oh, they wow. came in. They they swooped it away. Wow. They took my glory. What does it feel like to be the champion? For like, are you checking to see if you're still the champion after a certain? Oh, I'm always yeah. So when I'm number yeah. one, I'll check for a while just yeah. to make sure I'm still number one. It's a great feeling, like to just be on top of the world, even in something as like meaningless as. Mr. Krabs overdoses on ketamine. It's like <laughs> it just feels good to know like I'm the best. Yeah, it's like a Guinness Book of Have you do you like hold an official Guinness World Record? Kind of. Well, not an official one because you have to pay for it. And oh, gonna, yeah, you have to be so. I'm okay. not gonna pay to win to be in a fucking Guinness book. That's embarrassing. I'd rather pay for like anything else. It's embarrassing. It's like a, an idiot tax. Y- literally, like an idiot tax. <laughs> but if you check every world record, I think I would probably be number one in amount of like flashlight hits against the like turning a light on and off with a flashlight oh wow so i looked this up <laughs> someone did like five hits with a flashlight on a on a light to turn their lights on and off and i did like 10. that's that's, a, that's dumb yeah it's a, it's a meaningless record but i i do think i hold the title it could be beaten like today if anyone wanted to but wow. no one bothers You're still winning though how many yeah. how many flashlights and dildos do you own almost none anymore they all melt so it's been years melt. so it's like florida the heat makes them like melt together so they become unusable oh they be- it could become like a mega you can film like a mega it's, it just looks mega. more like a like an entire crime happened it's just like body this massive silicone and like debris everywhere you, like you tried to like melt someone with acid and they just kind of got halfway yeah, through it's, it was gnarly so no. bell delphine she's the pioneer she is god bless her soul no. I, don't, I don't know what she's up to these days genius she, yeah she takes these breaks but to recharge that noodle up there that's cooking up those genius schemes, like, I get it. We were in an <laughs> intense competition with sex toy collecting because I had a crazy collection for a while. And then Belle Delphine came in and was like, I'm going to beat that. So she spent, like, six figures to get, like, the craziest shit I've ever seen. Really? And she beat the shit out of me. So it was, like, an co- actual contest yeah, between you two, actual, like, you guys were talking about it? Yeah, it was an actual contest. She won by a landslide. Wow. She filled, like, a whole house of sex toys. Wow. It was like the Smithsonian for things to fuck yourself with. It oh was my crazy. gosh. Like various like yep. sizes, shapes. Yep. She had like weird ones. She had one that was like five demon fingers or something that were all meant for like your ass. It was crazy. I don't even know what, what that would look like. It like, you, like you go like that. Oh, one of these ones? Maybe. I, I think I, you probably had one of these ones, you know? The, <laughs> yeah. The, the, you know? Yeah. <laughs> The classics. Yeah, I mean, that one's, you know, that one's, everyone has that in their house. Mine were just old fashioned. She had shit like straight out of some kind of sci fi movie. It was wild. I mean, I guess because she can use them, it makes more sense. You know, I was saying, you know, you could get that OnlyFans pumping, you know, pumping and pumping. Fucking uh, the (laughs) Avipositors. Yeah. The Avipositors were cool. Do you know Avipositors? No, no. Avipositors are like flashlights, but they lay eggs in your pussy. So what? they're like they're little alien. Oh, Avi po- oh like oh. yep, they're like alien dildos. But when you put them in, they shoot eggs into you. It's no. so, so fucking gross. What the fuck? <laughs> that is insane. It's so gross. How much does that cost? Oh, it was like a hundred bucks. It wasn't cheap. What like what's the most expensive dildo you've ever bought or like sex item? The Moby Huge. Those are six hundred. Oh really? Yeah, those are three feet sixty pounds. Oh my gosh, I don't even understand how that like works. But you know, it doesn't work. It's more just like a like a art piece. No yeah. one can no one can use it. You would die. So it's for like the cool like artsy like you know gallery kind of person in their house. They just have like dicks. At, like Miley Cyrus has dicks in her house everywhere. Really? Yeah. She has she has like dicks everywhere. Everything's like phallus, phall- phallic. Phall- I had no uh, idea. Phallus like yeah. It's like a sex kind of things. You know, kind of L.A. Hollywood. I feel like people would have a lot of dicks in their house. I know Kara. Del Del Levine or whatever, how you however you say her last oh, name. Yes. Her whole house has vaginas. So oh, wow. she has like a tunnel in her house that's a vagina that you go through to get to one of her rooms. Oh wow. Yeah. I the didn't other know side of the spectrum. Mi- I didn't know Miley Cyrus had cocks everywhere. Cocks everywhere. Everything's cock shaped. That's awesome. I guess. We have to fact check me on that one. Hey, I might be having a yeah. Godspeed, Miley Cyrus. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Maybe one day I need to like upgrade my collection. Yeah, yeah you should go interview her at her place and just talk to her about all the penises around. We're trying to end this right here. I don't I don't know how to end it. What do I do I give you a shake? Yeah, just shake on it and a oh. big thank you. Oh, thank you.
Uh, such a soft handshake. Yeah, I use like a little gentle hand. You have to go by people. Like if you come in hot, you have to match the intensity. This is like nice. It's yeah. not like business, but it's like I trust you in my life. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah, a, okay. Okay. Like a Keep like a going. brothers and. Are you gonna break it off though, or do I? Would, I... Yeah, I'll break it off. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I thought you were going to, but you All just right. kept like feeling it up. That's, That's about, about it. it. See ya.